Tonight I ordered a targeted military strike on the airfield in Syria from where the chemical attack was launched. In breaking news tonight, the U.S. taking military action against the Syrian regime in response to a chemical weapons attack which left dozens of people dead earlier this week. This is Coin 6 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. I'm Jeff Giannolan. U.S. warships launched at least 59 cruise missiles tonight at Syrian air bases. Our Cole Miller joins us now live with more on this breaking news. Cole? Well, Jeff, Jennifer, good evening. The Pentagon says this strike was aimed at taking out aircraft, defense systems, and radar at that airfield where this chemical attack was launched. And tonight, Oregon leaders in Washington, D.C., they are condemning that attack, but also urging the president to consult Congress before going any further. Lighting up the night sky over the eastern Mediterranean Sea, the U.S. launching 59 cruise missiles. President Donald Trump taking action against Syria after the country's regime unleashed a chemical attack against its own people. The sarin gas killing more than 80, many of which were children. Even beautiful babies were cruelly murdered in this very barbaric attack. Those cruise missiles were fired from a pair of U.S. destroyers. The Pentagon releasing this video tonight. Cruise missiles are unmanned aircraft. They carry a 1,000-pound warhead and fly close to the ground below enemy air defenses, guided to their targets by GPS satellites. It is in this vital national security interest of the United States to prevent and deter the spread and use of deadly chemical weapons. Earlier today, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said that the future is uncertain for Bashar al-Assad, the Syrian president, while putting Russia on notice. It is very important that the Russian government consider carefully their continued support for the Assad regime. In a release, Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley says of the strike in part, quote, many Americans are deeply wary of being drawn into another war in the Middle East. We owe the nation full consideration of the complete range of options, including pursuit of an international agreement to end the war and end Assad's reign of terror. Representative Earl Blumenauer released a statement reading in part, quote, while it is clear that Assad's use of chemical weapons is reprehensible, the missile attack on Syria tonight is disturbing. Besides the fact that Congress was not consulted, this was a complete reversal of Trump's previous positions, end quote. Now, it's worth noting we also did reach out to Oregon's lone Republican in D.C., Representative Greg Walden, but we did not hear back tonight. Other, other top Republicans, like House Speaker Paul Ryan, they are calling this strike appropriate and just. Back to you. Cole, thank you, and we're going to...